I've actually had people say to me in marriage counseling, if God is the designer of marriage, he must be a cruel God. And I think that's really sad. I am concerned about the high divorce rate. I'm also was concerned that young people are very afraid of marriage because they've had poor role models. A lot of college students, at least the ones that I teach, are fearful that they'll be a statistic just like their parents were a statistic. Scripture talks about, by wisdom a house is built, and Joshua said, as for me and my house. So I'm just trying to get young people to start the building process earlier. Trying to get them to think of uh, using a house analogy, what are the foundational principles to build into your life, uh, what are the first floor issues, what are the second floor issues, and start working on those things. Now, I've found through the years as a pastor, I've done a lot of premarital counseling, and the typical couple that I do premarital counseling with, their mind is already made up, they're very focused on the wedding, and we do six or seven premarital counseling sessions, and in light of the current culture we're living in, I don't believe, unless they've had really good pre preparation by their parents, six or seven counseling sessions do not get you ready for marriage. And so I'm trying to catch people before premarital counseling and do some of the groundwork. God's ways really do work. If you do things God's ways, uh, the way he designed things to function, uh, marriage does not have to be a nightmare. trying to catch them before the emotions all start getting tangled up in a relationship uh, because then it's harder to think wisely. So I'm focusing on college students who have not been in a relationship or older high school students and I want to help them get ready for marriage and also help them think about what are wise things they need to consider about a future spouse. In the culture at large, there's also a myth that you can find your perfect soulmate. And I believe you actually become soulmates. The longer you're married, you grow closer and closer together. But with good biblical theology, you realize we can't, you can't find a perfect spouse because there is no such thing as a perfect spouse. My wife married a Genesis 3 person, and I married a Genesis 3 person. So. I'm trying to build some realism into this whole process with young people that even though you can't be a perfect spouse, you can't find a perfect spouse, that by the grace of God and living out biblical principles, you can have a very stable marriage. Uh, I also have built into the, uh, the book some really meaty theology because I believe college students can handle that and I have some uh, just, I hope, faithful exposition of scripture that they, I believe they can handle. And uh, then at the end of the book, there's uh, one of the things that I'm most excited about is what we call a marriage preparation project. And it's things you can be working with with a mentor or a discipler to help get you ready for marriage. So I'm trying to give them hope that they don't have to be a statistic and that you can actually marry wisely and marry well.